All right, here we go. He's almost down now. Axe face low motion. 096. Shy guy, you're about to get messed up. Oh, here we go. Let's see what happens here. Welcome back to People Playground. So I've gone ahead and installed this missile launching facility. And yes, I've gone ahead and thrown a prisoner inside one of the missiles just for a bit of fun. So that will be interesting. But I need to get familiar with this facility. It is important that I press the right buttons and stuff. Otherwise, things can go very, very badly wrong. But in this missile, we have an EMP. The second one, there is an atom bomb. And in the third one, I believe is the energy vessel bomb or something along those lines. So we're going to launch them a little later. We also have some targets, which I likely will miss. And we also have some anti-air stuff over here. So anti-air turret control. I guess we could turn that on. I don't think we have any threats to worry about, really. And we also have this elevator. So you know what? Let's go ahead, go down, and uh, then we can go into this room right here. And also, oh no, there's there's a worker. No, he's trying to fix something. No, look out, dude. No. <laughs> I think he's actually okay. Right, go up. He's knocked out, but he's, he's fine. Not the best health and safety around here, that's for sure. And also, could you imagine if one of these bombs got set off? That would be game over. Anyway, let's go ahead and launch this first missile. And then once I'm done with this facility, we're going to head over to the meat factory, which is seriously messed up. But yeah, let's get ready to launch missile number one. So the first thing we do is open the silo door. So I think it's this one. Yes, there we go. Look how cool this map is. It's so well made. All right, so the door is now open. I I hope that's enough. And now in order to launch it, all we have to do is press this button right here. All right, here we go. And fire. Oh, it works. There goes the prisoner. Whoa, that looks so cool. Now we can kind of control the missile if we want to. All we have to do is turn off one of the thrusters here. Uh, okay. Oh, I almost had it. Oh, no. What's happened? We hit the roof. Please don't fly back into the facility. No. Oh, look at the prisoner. He's been messed up. No. Oh, we almost we almost just hit our own facility. That could have been very bad. Oh, oh, <laughs> what's happened? Oh, oh, no, we broke the game. Yep, we... Oh, hang on a minute. No way. We actually hit the target. So I did actually have to remove a lot of that missile there, but I did activate the EMP. We even hit the bus. What? On our first go? I mean, to be fair, it did just bug out. Uh-oh, there's a fire in the facility. That is very, <laughs> very bad. This is the last place you would want a fire to break out. Hang on a minute. What's happened to this guy? <laughs> oh, no. A bit of debris has fallen on him. Oh, I am so sorry about that. Oh, what do these buttons do? It rotates that. Great. Anyway, let's move on to missile number three. Of course, we want to leave the nuclear bomb last because there's a good chance that we're going to go with it. We don't want to get blown up just yet. So let's go for door number three. Free. That's opening up. Very nice. And let's go ahead and launch it. Missile free. Off you go. How epic is that? I can't believe someone has made a working missile silo like this. I mean, with this much detail as well, it looks fantastic, I have to say. But this thing's about to hit the roof. Oh, okay. You know what? Let's just go ahead and set it off. Oh, there we go. Oh, hang on a minute. I've just learned something. This thing has thrusters on the side. Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. That's real bad. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this because it is broken. Look how hot the facility just got as well. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. No, this is bad. Very bad. Explosions are going off. The construction guy is dead. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Everything's blowing up. This is a disaster. All right, we need to get the nuclear bomb out of it right now. Hurry. Open the door. Oh, man. It's all gone horribly wrong. Missile 2. Launch it right now. Go, go, go. Uh-oh. We have a slight issue here. The connector is broke. We're going to have to do this manually. Right. Engage the thrusters. Disconnect. Come on. It works. Yes, we're out of it. It's a little bit laggy, though. But anyway, like I was saying earlier, I've just discovered the thrusters on the side so we can actually turn it instead of, you know, turning these ones off. The only issue is when it's going so fast like this, it's very hard to press it. So if we just pause it, then press it. There we go. We can turn it in the air. Right. I think we're far enough away from the uh, the facility now to detonate the atom bomb. Here we go. Uh oh, I can't press it. Got it. Yes. Oh, that's cool. Look at that nuclear bomb in the sky. Everyone 
is safe. Well, I say everyone is safe, but actually everyone is dead. Not one person in the facility actually survived that. And to be fair, I'm not surprised because, you know, I was in control of it all. Look at them now. They're just bones. Oh, man. What an absolute mess. And now, welcome to the meat factory. This is a seriously brutal map right here. This building is capable of cooking ragdolls at an extreme rate. The only issue is I haven't really fully figured out how to use it. So I believe this is the operator right here. Uh, okay, so we need to turn the generator on, I guess. So yeah, let's go ahead and power that up. There we go. Are the conveyor belts working? I don't think they are. Okay, so maybe we need to press some of these buttons right here. Or Oh, okay. There we go. I I've opened stuff. Okay, Things are now working, as you can tell. So let's go ahead, put a ragdoll in there. And I believe they should just drop. I think the facility is all automated and everything should just work once we've kind of pressed the buttons and stuff. There we go. So drop him into that one and now drop him again. Okay, he's taking a little bit of damage there. Con conveyor belts, are you going to work? I think it's broken already. Aha! All right, it's back online. Everything is okay. So... This is actually the first time I've seen this in action. Wait, what? Uh, the alarms are sounded. I guess that means that someone is about to get cooked. His legs are about to get chopped off, aren't they? Oh, oh no, it's okay. All right now, what happens? He's stuck. So I think there are, there's some issues with this uh, meat factory right here. As you can tell, it's not going to be perfect. Okay, so what happens now? So he goes up the elevator. Okay, oh, here we go. Let's just follow him. So it is a little bit laggy, but you got to remember that this facility right here is huge. Oh, oh, his hands have been ripped off. Now, something that we can do to help out with the lag is just pop it in slow motion here. And you know what? I think I'd rather watch this in slow-mo anyway. So coming up, we have the first heat guns, I believe. So this is basically going to cook him up. Look at that. Lovely and toasty. Oh, man, this, this place is so messed up. Okay, and... Oh, they didn't cook him again. Okay, fair enough. Oh, okay, into whatever that is. He's been put in a blender. Now, I'm not entirely sure what's going on here, but I think it's actually regenerating him. Either that or it's just cooking him. I have absolutely no idea. All right, looks like things are about to get even more extreme. We have some more blenders coming up. This is only our first ragdoll as well. <laughs> All right, so what does this section do? We have another elevator here, and I'm pretty sure some of the elevators in this mod are broken, so we'll just see what happens here. I might have to manually control this. I'm not too sure. Oh, here we go. Oh, I see. So the door should open by itself once the elevator goes down. Yeah, there we go. Oh, only a small amount made it on though. Okay, so we go up here. Then the fans, I guess, are going to blow us down this way. Uh, yeah, there's just so much going on right now. Oh, here we go. There goes the legs. I guess the other part of me will uh, will eventually get here. So will the door open or do we just go through this? Oh, there we go. We're through. Ah, <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like regenerating me or something. I'm going to be a perfectly cooked piece of meat soon. Um, I'm guessing that's freezing me. I have no idea. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're being cooled down now. I think we're about to get packed up and then delivered. I've just realized there's actually a delivery system right here. Are you kidding me? At least I think that's what it is anyway. Right, we have more conveyor belts going upwards now, and uh, I'm guessing we're gonna get packaged up and then get delivered somewhere. More blenders? Are you kidding me? To be fair, I, I don't even know what these are. Oh, here we go. Man, this honestly, other than the lag, from this map. This works so well. I'm just getting messed up. How are we supposed to get up there? I'm being turned into tiny little pieces now. Come on, get me on that conveyor belt. I'm literally just a foot now. <laughs> what's, what's someone going to do with that? There's barely any meat left. There we go. Right, we're on the conveyor belt. Why is the door closing? Nope. I thought my foot was about to get ripped off. And now down we go. It's so satisfying just watching the whole process happen. <laughs> Even though this poor ragdoll has been completely messed up. All right, what is this? What's about to happen? They're guns. What? Oh, okay. I'm so confused. And now the final segment. Let's see what happens here, shall we? There's some chainsaws above us. Is that going to hurt me? Nope. I say hurt me. I mean, I'm definitely dead. And here we are. End of the line. Only a small amount of the ragdoll has actually made it here. All it is is just one leg. I, I can't even make up the hill. Are you kidding me? Come on, so close. Yes. 
We did it. Nice. And now all I do is press this button here and it gets delivered. Well, there's probably supposed to be a delivery truck here, actually. Unless this is the delivery truck. I'm not too sure. Open the gate. How do we open this thing? Maybe I have to press the button again. Oh, no, that's reverse. Mm -hmm. I broke it. So this is really cool, but I say we try again with a different ragdoll. So I have here SCP-096. Let's see what happens with this guy, shall we? Let's boot up the facility. Get this ball rolling. Right, drop. Yes. And drop again. Turn the conveyor belts on. Okay, everything seems to be working fine. This right here. This is the best way to deal with SCP-096. Usually very difficult to kill. By using this facility, we're going to turn him into a piece of meat. That's it. Get on the elevator. Oh, he's too tall. Oh, no. Might have to get involved a little bit here. There we go. To be honest, I just want to see the cooking phase right here. I want to see this in action. All right, here we go. He's almost down now. Activate slow motion. 096. Shy guy, you're about to get messed up. Oh, here we go. Let's see what happens here. Come on, please kill him. Yes. He's cooking up pretty nicely right now. Oh, oh, look at that. We can see his skeleton. Yes. Oh, this is working amazingly. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. We killed SCP-096. We did it. But seriously, though, what an amazing creation. It's just a shame about the lag, but that's just what happens with creations that are this large. Moving on from the meat factory, the Marvel Power Pack also got updated recently, and I haven't really checked it out yet. So I think we've got some new characters and props and weapons and all that good stuff. But another thing they've added is the ability to change the skin. So I think the community got involved with this one and made some skins and stuff, I'm pretty sure. So we can now have the option of changing the skin like this. Look at this. How cool is this? US Agents Marvel's The Falcon and the Winter Soldier US Agent costume. That is really cool. Where's the Hulk? Has he got any different skins we could use? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Ooh, Hawkeye's bow. Hit! All right. Can I give Hulk Venom Punch? Let's see if this works. I'm not sure if I've actually injected this syringe into him or not before. Oh, oh, it looks like it did something. Yes, it works. We've made Hulk even more powerful. Okay, let me let me try this on Deadpool. <laughs> yes, that is awesome. Iron Man suitcase. Have I ever tried putting this on the Hulk before? Does, does this work? <laughs> All right, go. <gasps> it does. Are you kidding me? Oh, yes. Iron Man Hulk. That's awesome. Okay, let's use the Venom syringe on Captain America. <gasps> Whoa, that's cool. Oh, what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? He just killed Venom. Well, Captain America. Wait, is that the old one? Oh, no. Where'd he go? <laughs> Hulk return, though. There he is. He's just bouncing around the place. Let's, uh, let's just watch him for a while, shall we? He's so buggy. To be fair, the Hulk in this uh, mod pack has always been buggy, but I think with the suit on, it just makes it so much more worse. Well, on that note, I'm going to end this one right here. There is another video on the top right, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you in that video right there. Goodbye!